Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me, Justin. So this is gonna be my playthrough of Chapter Six of Final Fantasy XIII. Enjoy. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us in the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A spirit said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. And we'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. We need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how? Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. Then... But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said. His actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. 
We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that seeing her now not at all she's always so cheerful well that ought to tell you how far she's come now you must have seen your fair share of altitia by now yeah only done been the once stayed a good while though what's it like big old city big okay well it ain't the crown city Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Uh, are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <sighs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Make Cygnus a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee, or Magoo, or uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. the longest intro to get to the city ever. But at least we got another good batch to one did. So that's What's why the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh So that's why he never saw Reggie again. It's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... Well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga... Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. This amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Holy crap, a thousand gear? That's expensive. You 
want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Oh, wow. for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the king. Not. You ever meet him? Nope. You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep it. I wonder who called off the wedding. Was it her or him? It must have been her. effectively runs the show here. You lose sight of that when there's so much else to see. City inspired by Italy? It feels very Italian. City. I heard stories about this place, but it's even better than I imagined. We should take a picture. You know, use this as a backdrop. Oh yeah, good idea. Based on the government's actions, it would seem Accordo is supportive of the Oracle. Despite being under the Empire's thumb, therein lies the riddle. Is Lady Luna Freya truly safe? Good for now. How about a ride -a on the gondola? Question.
is? And the Sid wasn't kidding. It is big. <laughs> Crowded, too. We totally have to get a picture with that guy. Shouldn't we, like, ask first? <laughs> For one picture? Right? Come on. They're not letting me through, so I have to go and do it gently. Wow! This place is so romantic. Then you get to enjoy it with us. All three of us. You are a lucky man. He really is a lucky man. He gets to enjoy it with his bros. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. This took us over here. Oh, wow. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. That looks really good. I want it. See, bass saute. Peace be unto the province. Lady Luna Freya's wedding dress. Let's take the gondola back. Well, I want to get me a glass of this. Then why don't you? Yeah, let's hit up Mago later. Portrait drawn? Have a look. <laughs> wow. This is. What? What's what? Wait, that's me? But. <laughs> Without a doubt. Huh. I'd say she did a fine job capturing our most prominent features. <laughs> prominent features? <laughs> oh, wow. Who knows it's not that prominent? I don't know. It looks pretty close. <laughs> this girl's got some serious artistic sense. <laughs> Dude, that's the most fun I've seen them have all. 
all up the way and might play do so. That's a pretty fun nod to the original Final Fantasy console game. I just feel like there's no point in going into work anymore. Like I'm not welcome. So, scared to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. And here we are. This it? Gotta be. Mago! Classy. was from Tenebrae. He is. So it must have been a hog. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Lunafreya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. Wait, quest? That was a quest? doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Everyone here is so stylish. We're stuck in drab old black. Why not try wearing your official Lucian battle gear with pride? Leviathan's my favorite. She's the meanest and strongest of all the six. <laughs> she is, dear. You sure know your stuff. Because you read it to me from that book, the Cosmogony. What does he say about Leviathan? Is the strongest of the six? Leviathan's my favorite. She's the meanest and strongest of all the six. Isn't she cool, Dad? <laughs> she is. Uh, what do you think they're doing? But last time, got it? Fine. Now don't just hurl it as hard as you can. They're launching wishing birds. Would you boys like to give it a try? Wishing birds? They're an old Altitian tradition. You write your wish on a paper bird, and you throw it at the statue. You hear that? Our wishes are waiting in the wings. <sighs> so, what'd you wish for? It's a secret. As usual. I 
Ethan's my favorite. So She's someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She and the barkeep it's sure are friendly. There's got to be something going on. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the prince now that he's come back. So, someone caught the secretary at Mago again. Leviathan's my favorite. She's the meanest and strongest of all the six. There's no way the Nifs don't know about Lady Lunafreya's speech. <sighs> with both Leviathan and the ring in one place, we can bet our asses they'll come out in full force. Got another one. A map that points to paper scraps. Let's see where it takes us. What? Someone caught the secretary at Mago. She doesn't again. rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants him to be. Splendid. Where are we off to? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Yes, that's right. Ravis Knox Clare. A fearless one at that. And now he's the high commander. Stood there, staring at the church and looking all bad. If Ravis is in town, seems it's only a matter of time before that chancellor shows up. Another unknown we don't need. Care for a ride?
Look. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Whoa, check out this view. It's beautiful. I have got to get this on film. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Westwood store should be up these stairs. Seems everyone is making for the shop. She's a big deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. I'd love to sample Altisha's Epicurean offerings. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. It's because he got injured at the signing ceremony. I heard it on the radio. Oh, that poor Fleuret family. He must feel so limited by that prosthetic. Well, I saw him myself, and you wouldn't believe it. He moved it like it was his real arm. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog. Holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? Westwood store should be up these stairs. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows. shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these Welcome stairs. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wait. Is that me? From the Walking Dead? Awesome. Waskamama, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. So that's the final member of His Majesty's retinue. <laughs> Bet there's a lot we can learn from him. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. 
though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. <sighs> and the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you proceed with caution. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Whoa. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs.
Come on. Let's go to the Vivian Westwood's door should be up these stairs. Here's a question. Knowledge is power, as they say. I'll share what I know. But my sources are secret. So, you've heard about that too. The talk of the town, as it were. We've some troublemakers on our hands. Up to the task? Okay, we're on it. It's in your hands now, lads. Do take care out there. Dad's friend seems like a cool guy. Just wonder how he ended up here. Teamwork is the key to success, lads. Wishing you, lads, a safe return. Splendid. Where are we off to? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. They said we'd find our bounty? I'm sure. Our targets just decided to show up fashionably late. Hello there. Step right up and try our Christmas <laughs> famous greetings. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delish. Look, he just but don't stood touch. There, staring at the church and looking up. Hello, care for some gelato on this fine day? Hello, care for some gelato on this fine day? Look, but don't touch. Do you like what you see? And try Altitia's famous greedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delicious. There, staring at the church and looking all the So, is he your type? No, not more. And I dumped him. <gasps> Gondola! Care for a ride? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure.
found it. recognize this style from somewhere. I just feel like there's no point in going to work anymore. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. She looks like Henry Clinton. Those circumstances have changed. Both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Hmm. What would a King do? Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan. And he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed. We must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. 
We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Okay, so that's what she wants. She wants. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right, you do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. A difficult choice, I know. But if you try to protect everything, you'll end up protecting nothing. Where's to me, baby? Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. Take a cruise? Wow. Altitia is really something else. Oh, we ain't in Lucis anymore, fellas. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Jeez. Here? But how? 
doesn't matter how they got here. What yeah. matters is we need them gone. I just don't get why they're here. Ain't a good sign. The world's really out of whack. stronger must be thanks to my balanced diet the one that excludes vegetables yep that's the one right here. Ditto. You can remain awake long enough to eat. Dude! Oh, this is gonna be a party in my mouth. see to it the Empire does not harass Leviathan gonna be tough to pull off before the king receives her power and with three of us on evacuation detail indeed the best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself what kind of help you talking about just like Titan the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan oh, with the harpoon things if we can dislodge them from the goddess she will have a fighting chance Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember... You'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Dear friends, I stand before you today 
With little hope, the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis, a dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Likely. Time to land the Hydrian ahead. Get over there. Ah! <laughs> 
That was fun. They're everywhere. Oh god. Oh my god. Crap! Damn it. I need to get back up. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise. And in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow the king will prove himself worthy. Now 
was this? Ha! New ride we borrowed from the Niffs! This'll get us in close! Serious? Yeah! I'll get as close as I can! Then it's up to you! Alright! Won't be long! Here she comes! I got this! Making this easy. It's not. Hold on tight. Hey, nice job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not. Can you reach? No. I need your power! If I take you down... What the hell is this? Damn it! When is it gonna end? Haven't you had enough already? She's sick. Oh, she's dying. Oh. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Hmm. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace. How sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya. You first.
Noctis. Uh. Uh. Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Uh, uh, mm. Would that I could join them. Uh, but this moment uh, will have to be enough. It's not right. to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. with us. Oh, damn. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. 
You're hurt. Oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. He's blind. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. This is making me cry a little bit. He's so far ahead of them with 36 compared to 33 and 32. such a good episode. Chapter. But anyway, I really like how like, it shows you that they're going to every chapter. But anyway, this has been the end of chapter 6. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.